Hi, my name is Mac Newbold with Code Green, a custom web development shop in Salt Lake City, Utah. We often get asked, why should I be using this technology or that technology for my website? Um, in particular, there are two major camps in, in web development especially. Um, one is open source and the other is closed source. Uh, as you can imagine, open source means uh, that the source code for the, for the programming is open. Uh, this includes languages like PHP, Perl, Python, Ruby. Uh, Ruby on Rails is a, is a well-known implementation of, of Ruby for web development. These tools have um, one strong advantage, one really strong advantage over closed source tools, and that is that instead of being developed by one company, they're developed by programmers all around the world who donate their time for free to improve these tools, uh, mostly because they use them in their day-to-day -day job. Uh, one of the biggest motivations, people ask, well, why would people donate their programming for free to build something so great? And, and for most people, it comes down to they either want to do something good it, or it benefits them in some way. They're doing it, so to speak, to scratch an itch. They've got a need, and so they make something that fulfills that need, and then they share it with the world. And other people contribute to it, improve it, and make it better. Um, some of the best tools in web development right now include PHP, um, our language of choice, MySQL, a database that we use regularly, and the Apache web server, uh, operating systems like Linux and FreeBSD. They're all based on these open source technologies. In a way, this has kind of become sort of a holy war. There are other people who believe very firmly that if it's supported by a company, it's going to be better. Uh, there are technologies from Microsoft like ASP, ASP.NET, uh, a variety of others, you know, their IIS web server, their MS SQL server, uh, web database engine. Uh, there are products uh, based on Java that are closed source, uh, a lot of the technologies from Adobe. Uh, you know, the makers of PDF, Photoshop, Illustrator, a lot of those are closed source as well. Um, they have their place sometimes, but because they are closed source, you're kind of at the company's mercy as to what you're going to find, what's going to be available, when they'll fix a bug that you found, and there's no way that you can go in and find, oh, you know, this would be great if it just could do this one other little thing. You can't go in and make that change, whereas with open source, you can. Uh, and that gives you a strong advantage. Not that you ever hope to have to improve the base software, but the fact that you can means that you're not locked in and, and risking your business's future on the future of a, of a company who you've chosen to go with and, and depending on them for that support. And the closed source technologies uh, have some disadvantages in that regard that you're kind of locked in with what they, what they decide they're going to do and when they decide they're going to do it. And it can, be, uh, it can add some extra challenges to getting the job done. We've also found that the open source technologies uh, have pretty much become the de facto standard on the web. One of the most common environments is, is called LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, it's all over everywhere. Uh, over 70% of the web servers in the world are running this Apache free open source web server. Uh, another issue is cost. The total cost of ownership for open source solutions is usually very low. You buy the hardware, but you don't need to pay for any of the software on it, and it's all 100% legal and free. Um, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP all can be downloaded from the internet and installed free of charge, completely legally. Um, whereas with, a, for example, a Microsoft server, you'd need to uh, pay for Windows Server license for your server. You need to pay for IIS. You need to pay for SQL Server to run your database. Um, you usually will need licenses for your language uh, to run you know, ASP.NET, for example. Uh, also, on any machine you're doing your web development on, you'll need also those same tools. You'll need to pay for licenses. You'll need to pay for licenses for the development tools. Uh, and that adds a lot of cost in addition to the hardware that you need to buy anyway. So uh, we found that our clients get a better value and a better bang for the buck by, by utilizing these open source technologies and beside the fact that they're cheaper, we also found them to be much more reliable, more robust, and more capable. We've yet to find anything that we can't do with our open source tools that these, uh, these paid web server technologies can do uh, or can do better. So um, I'd like to leave you with a, a free offer. We have a, a report, Six Easy Steps to a Successful Website. If you go to getcodegreen.com, we'll, we'll send you a copy of that. And we also, for a limited time, have a free consultation, a $200 value. Uh, just for contacting us at getcodegreen.com. Thank you.